Hello everybody, it's Wick, and I just got done mailing some packages, and stopped by Goodwill, picked up some stuff, replenishing inventory, uh, show you what I got. You know what this is? I didn't at first either, I picked it up, so I'm like, hey, this is kind of cool. The lady had just put it out, paid $1.99. But then I noticed a hole up here and realized it was an incense burner. So being unique, colorful, good condition, I decided to go ahead and purchase it. I don't know how much I'm going to get for it. I'm pretty sure I'll make $10. I think I might list it at 20 to start. See if I can sell it for that. It just depends, I guess. Incense burners don't go for a whole lot on eBay. But maybe that one will. Just have to wait a little bit for a buyer to come along. So yeah, if I got a 20, that'd be about, mm -hmm, about $15 profit, I guess. Alright, next I picked up for 99 cents an official Bud Light cap. Has the, like, the metal... Uh, I guess cap, bottle cap on it, like goes through the hat, it's official, it's in actually good condition, it's got the uh, worn look on it, so those are manufactured tears in it, it's a little dusty, it's got like cat hair, or some, some sort of hair on it, so I can wipe that down with a lint, uh, Lint brush? Is that what they're called? Lint roller, I guess. And I uh, get that looking nice. And I've seen a few on eBay. They're selling for anywhere from 10 to 25 bucks. I think I'm going to list mine at uh, $24.99, maybe best offer it. Uh, so about, I'd say, $15 profit, I'm guessing, from this hat. And here's a little thing I picked up. Mostly thought it was neat. It's, uh, I don't know, tea? Cup? Glass? I don't know, but it has a... Uh, I get it. Royal Norfolk. It's from England. So, I looked up their stuff, and they have a lot of stuff. And it was selling anywhere from 3 to $20 for stuff, so... I'm probably list this for 10 bucks. I paid 79 cents for it. Um, just a little cheap thing I got. I might list it for 11 or 12.99. I don't know. I'm gonna estimate seven dollars profit. I think I can get that out of it. Next, found a book, a big book, colorful book, weird book. Back up for this one, Century Girl. It was $2.99. I scanned it. Knew it's $46. Used was like 20 some. But this is like new condition. Like there's really no problems. So I'm going to go ahead, I think, and sell it for uh, new. There is one little issue right there with the um, pages at the bottom. Like a little stain or something but I don't know it's so close to new it's a weird book I don't even know what it's supposed to be about to be honest it's just like a bunch of artsy photos and stuff like I have no idea what this is all about but yeah everything's in great shape on this the binding sounds kind of bad but that might be because it's so unused Got a bookmark. So yeah, I actually already put put this on Amazon as a uh, not FBA yet because it's so heavy. But I might end up doing FBA with it. Um, I think I listed it at like thirty nine ninety nine, something like that. See what I can get. But I'll estimate thirty dollars profit for that. I think I can get that. It's a pretty unique book, actually. On the back. Sorry I keep jerking the camera around, but the UPC here 
which actually has a sticker over it I gotta clean off, but it was a hundred dollar book. So yeah. Cool book, I guess. And then well I got these shirts. They were half off on red tags today. They're actually not a high item shirt as a Tommy Hill figure. Um I know they don't sell great on eBay, but it's my size and it was two bucks. So went ahead and just got it. <clears throat> List it maybe for, a, I don't know, 12 or 15 bucks. So I'd be able to make $9 out of, off of it. And uh, another shirt, this is a Eddie Bauer, Bauer. I don't know how to say that. B A U E R. Another, actually, I find the women's Eddie Bauer shirts sell uh, better, but I don't really sell women's clothing because I'm just not into looking for it. I'm already creepy enough, I don't need to be searching for women's clothing. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I think I can still get. What's this? Uh, uh, just a little thread hanging. I think I can still get maybe 20 bucks for the shirt, 15 or 20 bucks. But actually, I'm really tempted to keep it. Pay two dollars for it. I actually already tried it on and it fits, so I think I'm gonna just put 20 on it. And I'm okay if it doesn't sell because I'll just wear it. So there's that. And finally, for the stock, Sudoku. New sealed, paid $4 for it, scanned it, Amazon, FBA, it's uh, 20 bucks, but I also checked eBay, and on eBay, there's a bunch of completed uh, sales for 25 so I'm going to list it on eBay for $24.99, I think, because the fees and everything will be cheaper, and then when I send my FBA box, if I still got it, I might just send it there just to take out some hassle. I don't know. We'll see, but yeah, I should definitely be able to make a, I say 20 bucks off of this. This would be, should be a, it's pretty light. It should be a first class mail too, so it won't cost much, much to ship. But yeah, that's what I got. Uh, Nothing overly cool, I guess. <laughs> but hey, it's money. It's about $100 worth of stuff for a profit here. So you can't beat that. I was in there maybe 30 minutes. There's actually some uh, Christmas glasses I wanted to get. There's four of them. We made a nice set. I think I could have got 20 bucks. And I, of course, I went to get a cart. I put some stuff in and actually get them. And I forgot to go back and get them. I'm a fool. But. That's it. Another Goodwill experience paid off. Right now you're probably looking at me pointing at a subscribe. That means I want you to subscribe if you haven't. I want you to like, I want you to comment. I want you to tell me what you found at Goodwill, at garage sales, like your favorite items you found, all that good stuff. I'm in my uh, Frylock costume I got for $2.50, so <laughs> yeah. Awesome stuff. Take care, guys.